What's up guys, Baron Corvo here, and I just wanted to put together a quick visualization of how to do Parsec Net Play for Type Lab. <coughs> this is just going to be a quick uh, one take video. Uh, I have a text guide written up in the Discord, and I will link that in the description. But I wanted to put together a visual just so that everybody could have that as well. So, step number one is of course to download Parsec. Now. Uh, if you haven't downloaded already, obviously you can skip this step, but if you haven't, you you go to their website, parsec.app, you, you click on Parsec for Gaming, and head to the bottom. Uh, download should be all the way down here, and as I've already downloaded it, I don't need to download it again, but you download it for uh, whichever system you have, Windows, Mac, whatever, whatever have you, um, it'll show you how to do it right here. But once you've done that, uh, it should show up in your downloads, like right about here, and you can open the containing folder to uh, create a shortcut, as as you can see I've done uh, over here. Uh, but once you've done that, you will open up the Parsec app, and you will log in. Now, obviously, you can also create an account on their website, log in, create an account, etc. Uh, once you've done that and verified it by your email, you just log in in the actual app part the first time you go in and it should display something like this and this is your computer um, but once you've got that taken care of then we can move on to making sure it will work properly for type wild so as for that step number three once you've logged in being step number two uh, you go into the settings which is the cock obviously and you click on gamepad to make sure your preferred controller uh, is working with type wild pretty uh, standard stuff, or rather with uh, Parsec. So pretty standard stuff. You just check all your buttons, make sure it reads your your motions, be it a D-pad or analog stick. Um, if it's having trouble, I'm not my buttons are here. Um, so should be fairly simple. Then from there, you move on to step number four. And this will default to off. You go to approved apps, and it will default to off. But you want that on, actually. Then uh, normally you'll just see like what's readily available. So like you can see my recording software, my browser here. Um, but what you want to do now, once you've gone in and turned approved apps on, is run Type Wild. And at this point, you go back into Parsec, and you will see an icon for it appear. And make sure you check that box. What this does is it lets the people who come and join your computer actually interact with uh, Type Wild. If this is off, or if you don't have this box checked, they won't be able to interact with it at all, and it'll just be you playing a one-player game. But then moving on from there, once you've got that done, you can uh, close out Type Wild if you're not hosting. If you are hosting, you might as well just leave it open. But from there, you go to computers. And then step five is to join or share. So if you share, it'll generate a share link, like so, and copy it to your clipboard. You share that with whoever you're playing with, or or you copy theirs and paste it down in the box right here. I'm gonna stop sharing so I don't get someone random joining my demo video. Also, if you have a friend, if the people who you're playing with is on your friends list, it will also show up their computer shared will also just show up by default here. But uh, once you join, you should see their screen and they should boot up uh, Type Wild. And at this point, uh, the last step is to make sure both of your controls are configured in the game. And at this point, either, either via uh, text chat or via voice chat, your partner will, will tell you to, you know, push your buttons to map your your light punch, they'll tell you, okay, now push your light punch button. And then, you know, now push your strong punch button, and so on and so forth, until you're done. And that's the last step. At that point, you just do a quick button check, and you, uh, you should be good to go. But yeah, that's it for me. I uh, hope this video was uh, informative, and helped everybody better understand how to do uh, parsec that play for type wild. That's it for me. I will see you all 
next time.